All right, guys, we're at the capital of the United States. We're gonna get some uh, ramen <laughs> ingredients going. I'm gonna try to cook some good ass ramen tonight. I'm trying to make authentic ramen out of Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> this seems kind of good, actually. We got all the ramen ingredients here. I'm about to cook some ramen at this Airbnb over in Montana. I'm cooking the ramen that I know how to make, kind of for four people, including myself. So this is just about everything you need. So I have one pot of water going for a miso soup appetizer. I got another pot going for the eggs. They're gonna be hard boiled. And this is the broth that is going through. Is this getting hot? Oh yeah, that's warm. So this was the only broth that I could find. Usually I make 24 hour broth and that's where you kind of boil pork bones with some vegetables for 12 hours, but this was the best thing that I could find, so I'm going with this. I'm also gonna cook some of this uh, pork fat into it. So let me go through what I got. I got green onions here. So I got a, a white onion to cook with the broth, because this tastes kind of flat. I gotta throw some salt later. I got red onions as a topping, which I'm not too fond of, but I couldn't find some other toppings. We got the bamboo shoots. We got a little soy sauce. We got a knife, spoons for taste testing. Oh, I need them eggs. I got a... I'm gonna make four eggs to start. Actually, I might make more. Who knows? All right. I think this is a cutting board, so I'm gonna get cutting at this. I'm trying to boil the fat in the ramen. So first things first, I'm probably just gonna drain this, uh, this pork. So I'm gonna start with the pork in the broth. Um, so I gotta cut up onions, and I gotta cut the fat off this pork, and I'm gonna try to cut up the the fat as small as possible to get the most surface area so that it really like disintegrates. Oh, there we go. Okay, got one slab of meat here. I guess I'll just uh, need a plate. One schmeat down. All right, so I got the two pieces of meat. So these are pork loins, it's better to get pork belly. Pork belly is a much softer, can be cooked much more tender, but this was the best I could get. So this stuff is gonna turn into the pork slices. I'm probably gonna cut them like four to 10 millimeters. And this is the fat that I was able to get off of it, which is gonna be cooked into the broth for about an hour. Also need to cook these guys for an hour in that too. So my plan is to cut up the onions, get it into the broth first, then get the fat. Actually, I should do the fat first, realistically. Okay, so I guess this goes in here. Oh, where's the hot sauce? Okay. So honestly, you want the ramen broth to kind of be on a, a really aggressive boil usually but also I'm limited to the amount of broth I have. So I'm just gonna reduce it a little with water. And then we're gonna hit the heat much higher. But the fat can really cook and really like break apart, I guess. So we're gonna cut up this onion, reduce it so that there's more surface area to boil it in the soup. Here you go, bro. Usually ramen broth gets, oh shoot, oh no. Oh god. I'm gonna cut these pork slices, these pork chunks, kind of smaller so that it can uh, comfortably boil in there. So I cut my pieces like this, the pork slice will be about this big. Cut it like yay thick. Want me to break it up or anything? Or just... um, it's fine, because I'll use the, the spoon to break it up and stir it. Hell yeah. So the key to making broth for a long time, you do not put any soy sauce or any sauces in the soup I couldn't hear you. until the very, very end when you serve it. So now the soup is ready to just chill, start going for a while. I'm trying to find the perfect boil with this weird induction heater. Because it just boiled over. I don't know if the camera caught that. Yeah, Mason, do you want to put a chat? It's getting there, actually. So, boiling eggs. 
The secret method is you pop a tiny hole, like so. Tiny hole like that to let the air escape. You boil it for eight minutes exactly to the dot on already boiling water. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I got all the eggs with the little holes cracked in them. Some of them are better than others. We have a tool back home where you can uh, just punch the egg on a little needle. So that works nice. Also have cut up all the, uh, the pork into these sizable chunks that will hopefully be able to be cooked through. Also, this broth is not boiling, so I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit. And hopefully, I just need like a bubbling boil. And uh, that's what you cook the uh, pork in. All right, so I got a nice consistent boil. If you boil it too hard, it's gonna foam up. So I guess now is about time I put these guys in. Usually, you wanna wrap these in twine so that they don't fall apart. Hmm, that would actually be kind of good, but I don't really have any way of doing that at the moment, so we're just gonna send it and hope for the best. Also, this water is boiling now, so I'm about to pop all the eggs in there. Eight minutes. I need a timer. Eight minute timer. Eight minutes literally on the dot. And the inside will still be kind of goopy, which is what you go for. So another thing with the eggs is, after the 8 minutes, you have to dunk them straight into an ice bath so that they don't continue cooking. So the water is boiling. It's time to drop these eggs in. I hope that's enough water. We'll find out. Six eggs boiling. Also got the ice, the ice bath ready. I don't need that much water. Just enough to stop the cooking process. Pull the eggs out um, and get it in there. I don't know how I'm gonna do that because I need a strainer of some sort. So I'm, I'm gonna cook half the pork slices, uh, the pork loins, just regular, just toss it in there and boil it. But the other half, I'm gonna tenderize with this ball peen hammer I found. Life hack, you just put plastic on it. Maybe double wrap it just in case. And uh, yeah, that's your uh, tenderizer. All right, so the eggs are done. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this over to the sink. Problem is they're still boiling. Literally every second matters. I'm gonna use this like straining spoon to take them out. Like so. Right into the ice bath. Alright, so I let those cool down. I guess I'll let this kind of cool down too. Well, at least we had the pizza. Yep. Alright, I got the green onions. About to chop it up into little pieces for the toppings. Cutting green onions takes motherfucking forever, but there it is. I'm gonna put this in a little bowl that I got here. So we got them bamboo shoots. Some red onion, which usually is not really a thing, but honestly, I think it sometimes tastes good. But uh, we're missing the kikurage mushrooms, which I usually do, so. Just remembering now, garlic is a really, really good thing I should have actually bought at the store to toss into the broth. Let's see if there's garlic powder, and I'm gonna toss that in the broth. If there's not, you know, we'll survive. Seems like there'll be enough room, but I guess I'm gonna toss the rest of this pork in. Oh, it's been fan drying? <laughs> yeah. All right, so while I'm waiting for all the pork to cook and everything, I'm gonna take the shell off these eggs and I'm gonna try to let it marinate in a really dense soy sauce. Because usually I would let this marinate in a soy sauce sugary mixture overnight. But I only have about 30 minutes at this point, so I'm hungry. Try to get it soaked in it a little bit. 
just gonna unshell these boys and put them in here. All right, so I got the, the eggs all unshelled. And I got this mug in the middle to kind of fill up the volume so that I could just use less liquid. So luckily there's this soy sauce here. Less sodium soy sauce. I might kill like half this bottle to be honest. But uh, we also got one here. So I'm just gonna aggressively fill this up with a lot of soy sauce. Let that marinate for uh, 30 minutes hopefully. Until, until I get served pretty much. So we'll see. I think I used too much. Whatever. So there's a paper towel trick where you put the paper towel on top of the eggs so the paper towel will absorb the soy sauce and it will um, soak the top because eggs like to float. Hopefully that does something. We'll find out. I've never done this before. Alright, eggs are going. Toppings are set. We got the tarot, which is the sauce. And we're kind of just waiting on this to finish. And then once everything's done, cook the noodles for three minutes and it'll be uh, ready to serve right, right away. Soup still be going. I was able to take out the first three pork pieces that I used. Here they are. And I'm just gonna quickly, very quickly, sear them, I'm trying to give them like a little burn mark. That's really all I'm going for. So these are how they kind of came out. Looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. And there's all the rest. I'm going to deal with the other ones much later. I'm just going to make enough to serve because uh, we've been waiting a while. Alright, just to set up, I got all the toppings in the middle, the pork is in here, keeping it warm, the eggs I'm just going to do very, very last, just because I'm trying to marinate them for as long as possible. Um, the broth is pretty much done, I wouldn't say it can get any better than that, so I'm going to start cooking this, huh, I don't know, where are the directions, alright, I'm going to figure this out. I'm just gonna get these noodles ready to boil. They take about three minutes, I think, the box is. I don't really know. All right when these are done, just ready to serve up. All right. Eggs, Negi. Oh, let me get some of the pork oh, no. I got three pork slices, got the noodles. It's about to be bussin'. Good thing my camera's on 2%. What's up, yeah, slimes? Perfect timing. Good thing my camera was dead for that entire meal. But that shit slapped. Also, I made like so much extra pork. We could eat that in the morning. I got so much extra noodles for no reason. We always double up on everything right, for no Jerry, reason. You on this duty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Mason, just a couple dishes. You got a sponge this time. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna like it. Okay. I'm about to go outside oh, yeah. and uh, play some cards and uh, chill out for a bit before we go to sleep and wake up at the butt crack of dawn. The butt crack. What? 